Blake Wharton, and I ride for Geico Power Sports Honda. Jumping in the pro ranks was definitely something new because you know you've never done it before, so you don't really know what to expect. You can just train your hardest and, and prepare the best you can. And you know, my first year, I raced a couple rounds right after, you know, right at the end of the outdoor season last year, and I got a little taste of it, and uh, did some good, and got on those tracks and the 30 minute motos, and it's different. You know, it's quite a bit different. You can talk about it but it's different until you go race it. You know, you never get that real feeling of it. And then Supercross was my first time last year for it. And um, I think Supercross went pretty good for me. You know, I, I had some up and down results maybe, you know, not as consistent as I would like. I'd like to be on the podium, you know, every week for sure. But I ended up winning St. Louis. You know, that was really good for me. And, uh, you know, each year you race, you're going to learn more and more. And so I am definitely feel like I'm a contender this year for sure. To win races. I won one last year and I know I can win another one obviously so I, I'm excited for Supercross. It's gonna be good. My name is Trey Kennard. I ride for the Geico Power Sports Honda team. Yeah this year in 2010 I'll be doing the, the West Coast Light Series. East to West it's uh, it's different you know with uh, East Coast there's not very many open stadiums so uh, the chances of rain are quite a bit more down and um, you know, West Coast, uh, there can be some rain races, but uh, overall the dirt is a little softer in the East Coast. They bring it in, it's wet, it's moist, and uh, a little more traction. Um, so it is a little bit different, but uh, it's all racing a motorcycle, and it, it's all, everyone has to deal with the same track. So, uh, you know, I like either one of them. I think the team this year is great. You know, we have, uh, we have Kevin, who uh, has all kinds of knowledge, Kevin Wyndham, and, uh, you know, Brett. Brett Metcalf, he's uh, been in this lights class for a pretty good time now, and, and uh, guy has experience and knowledge. And uh, I've got a few years under my belt, and um, you know Blake Wharton, younger than me, he's had a really good year for his opening year last year. And then, of course, everyone knows Justin Barsha had some really solid racing. What's up, Justin Barsha? I ride for Geico Power Sports Honda. You know, going from amateur to pros were insane. You know, that's the best word to explain it. It was, you know, definitely really hard for me to do. Like, just all those guys, you know, there's everybody's fast out there, and you know, they're great teams. You know, it was just a, almost like a hard experience and good at the same time. You know, there was a lot of ups and downs in my first year. You know, just the crashing, and uh, you know, I did have great races too. You know, I got on the podium a lot. I won Southwick, so that was just uh, the best thing uh, that ever could happen. You know, it's back home, all the fans there. That was incredible thing but you know all, all in all it was a great season I was very happy with it. I got fifth overall so you know I'd like to see definitely I know I can do a lot better having Mike Larocco as a team manager is just um, amazing you know I can't I don't think I could we could have anything bet anyone better on our team to help us you know he's definitely been here for a, a really long time he knows what he's doing and you know he's won lots of races he's been always consistent on top and I you know that's why I've been learning more and more being around these guys it's just you know being consistent is uh you know where it's at you know being first one weekend and last the next weekend or something like that it's just you know you can't do it to be a you know win a championship so I've just learned a lot from Mike Larocco you know he's been helping me with the bike so much you know I've never thought I'd be here with this point just learning about bikes like this you know he comes out I test my bike and I say well you know, I think I really like this but then he hops on the bike and says well you know I think that you could you should try this or something you know it's just it's good to have other opinions and you know good opinions too he's incredible like that hi my name is brett metcalf i ride for garco power sports honda team my uh, 2009 season for supercross started off really good i came out finished second and then unfortunately the next round i crashed in practice had a big crash and broke my collarbone and basically that was that was it for my championship run so Missed out on Supercross, but outdoors I came back and and uh, started off a little bit slow due to the injury. It took me a while to get going, and then by halfway I was up on the podium, and I think I was in third in points, and then from there out just held down third to the end of the championship, and uh, it was a good season, real solid, consistent. Uh, I did what I wanted to do except for a couple goals, and that was to win a race, but came really close a couple times, so it was a good good season. and. Um, you know, backing it up again with the same team here this year and hopefully, uh, you know, get up on the top step. Yeah, the, our team is very unique. We have, you know, the two of the young rookies, Blake, Blake Wharton, Justin Barsha, and then myself and Trey Kennard. 
so we're kind of the older two of the lights group. And then, you know, to have someone like Mike LaRocco and Kevin Windham who's racing 450, but just to have those two older guys around who, who's been through everything that we're going through in our stages of careers. I'm at the middle right now, and they've been there and done that. They've had injuries. They've had the hard time. They've, been, they've done everything. So to have them looking over us a little bit as it feels like is just such a huge bonus. Hi, I'm Kevin Windham. I'm with Geico Power Sports Honda team, and I've been a part of this team since uh, 2003. Well, I, uh, I turned pro at the end of uh, 94. So, uh, yeah, doing the math here, what, what is that, 04? Yeah, 16 years now, and it's, uh, it's crazy because I'm just uh, I'm turning 32 uh, to start a season. So, starting uh, my ha half li halfway through my life here, I've been a pro. It seems like a, a huge feat for me. and. Uh, been riding motorcycles since I was three, so it's it's truly a uh, lifelong adventure here. I really hope to not be going anywhere. I'm enjoying what I'm doing and uh, still feel like I can be successful. And as long as I can keep off the ground and uh, try to find the podium, I'm going to be around. Um, I think being a mentor to the kids is something that I take a lot of pride in. I, I think it can be great for them. You know, I think to have that knowledge of being in so many different race environments with with myself and then also Mike. You know who who was on the team when I first came to the team, and uh, was I was able to use some of his information at the time, and uh, I think it's great because with my career, I still to this day learn things, and I think that having those years of experience can can help them tremendously. And trying to help them through situations, I mean, they're all great riders. To be on this level, you you you've made it. You're you're a great guy. You're a great rider. But there's always in, in racing things that happen, and uh, there's things that continue to happen even in my career. So. I think it, uh, it can be great to them. We're always around for them. I, I love to help them. I, I love watching these guys ride. There's a lot of great talent on our team. And uh, to be honest with you, I think that they can show me something as well. You know, the, the energy that they have and, uh, you know, chasing their dreams and stuff. And, you know, it's never too late for me. You know, even in the, you know, the tail end of my career, it's, it's never too late to, uh, you know, have that energy and, and uh, know that every race means a lot. You know, it's it's not just another year of me in a 16-year-long career. It's it's every race is important, and I need to go to the line with the motivation to uh, to land on the podium. Well, the human element is, is never taken out of racing. Uh, we we spend all these laps, riding, testing, uh, training, and and you go to a race and you're always faced with you know these adversities, these challenges that you have to overcome and. Uh, you know, it's it's an ever-evolving uh, sport. You know, it's it's something that you never master. The the greatest riders of all time have always had, you know, an, another thing that they wanted to learn, an, another half a second that they lost somewhere on the track. So it's uh, it's a really tough sport. Experience is everything, but it's something that you can never, uh, you know, rest your head on. It's it's a uh, it's a changing environment. You know, due to equipment, bikes getting better. You know, new new up-and-coming riders willing to take new risk and try new things. So. Uh, you know, it's a very tough sport, but one that you have to use all the assets you have, you know, in your entire team, and I think that's what makes the Geico Power Sports Honda team so strong. Well, that's Mike LaRocco, um, I guess I'm team manager, Geico Power Sports Honda. Last year, during the outdoor, actually it would be 2009 Outdoor Nationals, um, kind of jumped in with, uh, with Ziggy, you know, Rick, the team owner, and just kind of, um, tried to take a little bit different with the way we treated uh you know how we worked with the guys the riders so uh it seemed to go pretty well and you know we had some ideas for some changes and um just kind of kind of brought it on and <clears throat> start 2010 you know all in